I'm recording using the wrong orientation, but I don't care. Look at my cute puppy. So, um, I meant to post this like a week ago, but I have too much going on in my life and I just forgot. So, um, Vince, I have very similar thoughts that you have with regards to how do I know what the things that I know are true are true, right? But my thoughts are typically about history, right? How do I know that George Washington was the first president of the United States? How do I know that World War I and II actually happened? How do I know that the people of the United States of America are actually coming, are actually people that came from England originally and then, you know, like all the other people that came later? But how do I know that the original settlers here are people that came from England? How do I know these things? And my answer is because that's what I've been taught my whole life. But how do I know that these things are true? So this is a huge problem that I have with history, with world history, with American history, with all types of history. I don't know why my dog is growling. Lily, what's the problem? Lily, what's the problem? She doesn't want to answer me. Anyway, Lily, stop. Um... How do I know that these things are true? And I just, I get this feeling that a lot of the history that we know is not actually true and that a lot of it's been changed to um, match a certain narrative that wanted to be conveyed by somebody. I don't know who, I don't know why, but that's just a feeling that I get. I have no proof to back this up, it's just how I feel. Which I know that um, you can't go in life doing everything based on how you feel, but I don't know. That's just the feeling I get. So, yeah, I have very similar thoughts about, you know, how do I know what I know is true and how do I know that I'm communicating effectively? How do I know that the words that I'm saying mean what I think they mean? That kind of stuff. Um... Anyway, Eric, in response to your video, um, yeah, the impeachment trials have been very interesting. I love how, um, all the evidence that they're trying to, oh, God, my dogs are so annoying, all the evidence that they've been trying to, um, put on record have just been getting blocked, and... I don't know. I don't know how I feel about the impeachment trials. Guys. Guess we're just gonna watch my dogs play instead. Not on the couch. Uh -uh. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about them. I just, um, at this point in time, I just find it very interesting, um, how things are going. Um, I'm concerned about this coronavirus thing going around, and I know that um, a couple of cases were found in Illinois, um, and I read that there was a case that they're looking at um, potentially in North Carolina right now as well, so I'm like, I don't have a great immune system as it is, so I'm really not trying to die, <laughs> but we'll see how things go. Um, yeah, I don't know. That's all I got, really. I'm just um, trying to get myself prepared for this new job that's starting in a couple of weeks and um, cleaning my house and getting my life in order. So anyway, Eric, you asked what me and Jessica want to talk about, and I don't really know, to be honest. What I'm interested in right now is painting. I've been really enjoying doing paintings. I'm learning how to do like, um, I just like like landscapes. I haven't been doing people or anything like that. It's just um, like nature that I've been painting. Very Bob Rossi. So um, yeah, that's what I've been interested in lately on top of, um, I've been really enjoying reading the glitch in the matrix subreddit um i don't know if you guys have seen that but if not you should check it out it's really interesting it's just a bunch of people posting about how weird 
things have happened in their life that are probably just coincidences, but it seems like too much of a coincidence. Like how you'll see, you'll be on the train and you'll see 20 people all dressed exactly the same or you'll walk into a store and you'll pass by somebody when you're walking in and then when you walk out, you see them again. Like walking into the store as if, you know, they had, this is their first time coming in or whatever. I don't know. I'm not explaining it well, but um, I find it very interesting. It's like, it kind of um, matches the narrative that I believe that we live in a simulation that none of this is real. <laughs> and um, I don't know. I just find it very interesting. I can't look at it too much because then I'll start to literally have a crisis. <laughs> but um, yeah, I mean, maybe I'm nuts and I should be in a psych ward, but... It, I just really feel like we live in a virtual reality, and <laughs> I'm crazy, but that's, uh, that's where I'm at in life right now. So, anyway, I hope you guys are doing well. Um, tell me how your kids have been, and I don't know. I don't know what I want to hear about. I just like hearing about your life. So, that's all I got. I guess my dogs have finally calmed down. I have bed head. All right. I'm done now. Love you guys. Hope you're doing well. Bye. Bye. Hit. Why won't it stop?